Hello everyone, this is Jorn Hookham, and in this video I'm going to go over some of QuickTime 7 Pro's basic editing features. I have down here some example footage from the Whistler Mountain Bike Park that was filmed on a chess cam, as well as a song by the Gorillas to include. Um, what we're going to do is just sort of fix them up and then edit them into a montage. So we'll open these up in QuickTime and get started. So I find it a little bit hard to work with these files when they're so big like this, so I'm just going to zoom out. And you can do that by going to View Half Size, that's all I'm doing. Um, the first order of business is to flip these videos right side up because they're all filmed upside down. That's a very easy fix. If we just go to Window, Show Movie Properties, we get this window right here. And here we can see uh, all of our tracks. Uh, all the tracks within the video. So we have a, a video track and a soundtrack for this particular video. Uh, and then down below we have various ways to edit these tracks. So the first thing, or what we need to do, is to select the video track, go to Visual Settings, and then we have Flip and Rotate tools that we're just going to use. We'll rotate it twice and flip it right side up. We'll do the same thing over here. Just using the hotkey Command J to open up the video properties there. And we select the video track, visual settings, and rotate it twice. So now our uh, videos are orientated correctly, and we can select the portions that we want to include from them and paste them into a new file that will be our final edit. So let's make that new file. File, new player, and it just looks like that for now, and we'll leave it to the side. So to make a selection from a video, we need to use the in and out markers. And that's these two things down here. The left one is the in, the right one is the out. And the distance between the two of them is our selection. It's this darker area here. So we'll move our out marker to where we want the clip to end and the in marker to where we want the clip to begin. Let's just put it right there. So uh, once you have your selection, you can copy that with Command C or Edit Copy. And then move back into the new video, or the new player that you created or opened up, and paste it in with Command V, or Edit, Paste. So now we have the first clip for our montage. We can close this one because we're done with it now. And we'll move into the next one and make a new selection. You can also move the markers using the I and O keys. I is for the in marker and O moves the out marker and it just moves it to the current position of your playhead. So I'm going to move my playhead to about there, press O to move the in marker and move the playhead to about there and I'm actually dragging the in marker with it. I'll just do it without that for the example. Drag the playhead to where I want the clip to start and then I'll press I to move the in marker and I have my selection. I'll copy that and move back into my new video file here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my playhead and both my markers are at the end of the video. And go to Edit, Add to Movie. And now the two videos are clipped together. Next thing we'll do is to get rid of this low quality audio that uh, the videos came with and add in some of our own. So if we open up video properties with command J or window show movie properties, we get our window again and we have four tracks here now. Two video tracks and two soundtracks. One of each for either clip that we pasted in. So to get rid of the sound all we need to do is to disable both of these soundtracks and now we will no longer have any sound playing from the two clips that we imported. Um, now we're going to add in our own. So the best way to do this is to select a portion um, of from the audio file that is the exact length of the video file that you want to paste it into. So if you go to the end of your video file, you'll be able to see how long it is. This one's 32 seconds. So now if we go back to our audio file, we can select a portion 32 seconds long and copy that. Moving back to the video file, we'll select the entire thing with Command A or Edit 
select all, and then we'll go to edit, add to selection and scale. And that will paste the audio over top of the video. And we have a sort of completed montage. So QuickTime is really good for these little edits, um, things like flipping those, those uh, video clips right side up. Might not be the best tool for things like um, making a production, it lacks some more advanced features, but it's definitely good as part of a workflow for something like this. So I hope you guys found this useful, and um, please don't hesitate to leave any comments. Thanks for watching.